TGIFOF, boys and girls, Parker here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we are all about building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. If you like the sound of that, join the gang. Welcome back to another episode of Five Outfit Friday, the video series where I give you five outfit ideas all surrounding a certain theme. As you saw in the video title, today's theme is Vegas, but it doesn't necessarily just have to be Vegas. Just kind of take these ideas that I'm giving you because they could apply to all kinds of different vacations. The biggest thing that I want you guys to keep in mind when you're watching these outfits is how I really tried to showcase versatility because the more you can pack with intention and keep a small, easy little bag, the better it's gonna be. At the very end of the video, I'm gonna put a packing list of everything that I have so that you can screen grab it. So without further ado, here's five outfits for Vegas or any short weekend trip. So you're going to the club. We've got these black GH Bass penny loafers, some suit trousers from Combat Gent, and this bold short sleeve button up shirt from Guess. Now, clubs in Vegas are super fun, but they also get extremely hot. So you wanna wear something nice because especially if you're just showing up with your boys, you're not gonna be able to get in unless you guys are all really well dressed. But I would go with some pants, chinos, jeans, or trousers go with something that is a little bit more dressy without causing you to totally overheat i've got short sleeves on you can unbutton a couple of your shirt buttons make it as drafty as possible so that once you get in there and you start to sweat you're not going to overheat because you're wearing a full suit like i never understand why people wear a suit to the club vegas has some of the best restaurants so hopefully you're going to treat yourself go out to a nice dinner maybe catch a show go see celine dion <laughs> a big thing you always want to keep in mind when you're traveling guys is to pack stuff that's super versatile so i'm literally wearing the exact same shoes and pants and all the same jewelry but then i just swapped out a simple black t-shirt from joe's jeans and this dark sort of maroon blazer that's part of a suit from indochino so I'm dressed a little bit more upscale than I was for the club night, but still not super formal because I'm just wearing a t-shirt and I'm comfortable. You can easily ditch the jacket if you're wanting to go do something that's a little bit less formal. And altogether, it just creates a really nice aesthetic that's gonna be just a little bit more fitting for something like a dinner and a show versus going out and partying at a club. You went out last night, now you're headed to the pool or to a day club. So if you are gonna be doing a day club, again, you wanna always err on the side of being a little bit more dressed up. So layering a tank top under a short sleeve button up shirt like this one with just a short, nice bathing suit that could almost double as chino shorts as I've told you guys many times before, that's the easiest way to get the most versatility out of your bathing suit. Or if you're just going to your hotel's pool to hang out, you could easily just wear only the tank top or no shirt at all if you're gonna be in the pool. And then some nice casual sandals because honestly the pool decks in Vegas to me always feel a little bit nasty, especially at the day clubs just because there's so many people running around. But together it creates a little bit more of a dressy side of an outdoorsy daytime outfit. For daytime casual or when you're just walking around the strip, Got some Koyo sneakers with some Uniqlo crew socks. These Gap Chino shorts with a tank top and another just easy flowy shirt. This one's from Walmart. Same sort of concept as the day club or the pool day, except instead of a bathing suit, we've got some Chino shorts on. And then a total pro move for Vegas if you're gonna be doing a lot of walking is to wear a taller sock that you're not gonna have to worry about falling down into your shoe or having your ankle rub against your sneaker. Even the most comfortable sneaker when you're walking that long can start to rub and create blisters and you're just gonna have a bad time if that ends up happening. Even if you popped into different bars or something, something like this is gonna be dressy enough that you're gonna feel good. And if you meet people or whatever and your day ends up carrying into the early evening, this is still dressy enough because you could button this shirt up and be dressed up just about enough you would need to be for anywhere you're going except like a club or something. And finally, for when you're flying in or you're just hanging out or you're gambling, they pump the AC in those casinos. So I always like to bring a pair of jeans, a little bit of distressing, very lightweight and comfortable. The same sneakers that we were wearing in the last outfit for walking around in, versatility, and a nice just clean basic t-shirt. 
don't want to overdo it. I've got the same jewelry on that I've had on the whole trip and pretty much just staying comfortable because if you're not someone who likes to go outside of wherever you're staying, if you just want to kind of hang out in that general area, an easy outfit like this is the perfect thing to just throw on and it's still reliable for traveling in. So if you want to fly into Vegas with something that you can just immediately start your trip with once you get there, if you don't even want to worry about changing clothes or anything, do something that's going to make you feel good that isn't sloppy and still looks pretty nice. And there you go. Five outfits for all the different activities you can be doing in Vegas. Hope you guys enjoyed. Did you see what I was talking about in terms of the versatility? Like I told you, making sure that you can reuse pieces in different outfits. Cause like, sure, the people you're there with might notice that you're wearing the same pants, but as long as they're nothing too bold, you're gonna be fine. Here, let me show you that packing list I was talking about right now. It's very minimal. It's not a ton of stuff. And especially if you're only gonna be there for like a Friday through Sunday, it's just silly to bring a bunch of different outfits. Think ahead and pack stuff that you know you're gonna wear, plan your outfits already so that you don't even have to think about it when you're there. You can focus on having a good time. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, if you have any specific questions or theme requests for Five Outfit Friday, you can drop them down below. You can DM me on Instagram. Be sure you go follow me there as well as on TikTok for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. And if you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.